guys welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another video on arsenal discussions and you might know that it's about the game against brighton for arsenal a one nil win perfect we had two wins in a row we i am very 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 glad that arsenal has finally gotten a four especially against brighton as some arsenal fans may know we barely beat brighton if we don't actually lose we just draw and I'm actually really happy with that one nil result despite only scoring one goal. And apart from how the team played, I'm also very, very impressed with Ateta's mind, finally. Because he finally he finally decides to play a team that actually has the potential to do well. But Leno in goal, he's absolutely brilliant. Like compared to Ronaldson, he's not one of the best at Neuer, the Stegen, Allison. But I know compared to Ronaldson, he's way better. Holding and Mari, if it was me, I may have added Gabriel instead of Mari. But, or maybe Holding. But still, they were very, very solid at the back today. Tiani. Oh my god. He's not a left back. Like he is he, his like main position like in the mind is a left back. But when he plays he's not a left back. He's not a left mid. He's not a left winger, a left attacker. He's a left. He just controls the whole left side. Even if Shaka Martinelli is controlling that left side, he doesn't care. He's making runs forward for the team to pass to him. And when Brighton has the ball, he pushes back with the whole defense. And yeah, Bellerin um, on the other side, pretty average. Yeah, Bellerin was quite average last night. Um, he 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 was okay. He did make some good runs. He did come back, make some defending, but he could have done better. But still, good job, good job. I'm clapping for him. And El Nani, finally. Finally, Elneny is getting some good form into him. He's not at the peak of his level yet, but he honestly did way better than how he performed against Chelsea and Man City. Granit Xhaka, um, could have done better, but good job. Yeah, I've still got that good impression of his free kick against Chelsea. But still, Granit Xhaka could have done better, but good job. Bukayo Saka, a little, a little, a little bit more effort from him when going forward would be better. But he was brilliant apart from that. Emil Smith Rowe, amazing. Just amazing. Martinelli, he wasn't having the best of games. But he, uh, he did make the runs. As for Aubameyang, this is something you won't hear me say usually. I'm actually gonna be criticizing Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, our captain. What was he doing for the entire 90 minutes? He didn't get any good chances. That chance for him in the second half, he shot, finished shot, I thought he had gone in. What happened? Why? The goal is here. He is here. The bar is here. It went there. Like I don't know what's wrong with Aubameyang. Although I, although we won, I'm happy, but I'm not very glad about Aubameyang. It's. I think he's just getting older. He's, he's getting older, it's time for him to leave, get younger players like Eddie and Katia to come in, maybe uh, uh, sign a backup or maybe a new striker from another team that's like 26 to 38 years old at its peak to come in. For Aubameyang, it's time for him to leave for China or America. Aubameyang doesn't have a space left. In this squad. 
at this point, I just feel like Lacazette is way better than Aubameyang. At the start of the season, I was thinking, okay, Aubameyang is going to rock through the season like no one else. And Lacazette is just going to be a uh, underdog, just trying to like get his place into the squad. But now, if I am a better, I will drop Aubameyang into the lowest ranks, play Lacazette as my starter, and Enkete as my second backup, like as my backup. Aubameyang is going to drop down. He needs to learn that he's getting old, and it's time for him to go to the MLS. Just go. Like, apart from Aubameyang, I'm pretty happy with everything else. And let's see. Okay, the the, the the game was pretty good. Okay, some some of you might have been thinking why and just looking on my laptop because I am using like a PC to record and then a camera. Um and this is just for some info, just in case I missed out on some stuff. Pablo Mario was excellent, yeah. Hold on, yeah. Oh yeah, about Dan Burn. Dan Burn, he he's a Brighton player. He's a Brighton player. If he was at Arsenal, I would be mad, 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 mad. Just just look at that Lacazette go. Like after Lacazette came on for um, after Lacazette came on for the who? Martinelli because Martinelli wasn't giving his best. Um, after after Lacazette came in, right? Then he was about to score. But before that, Bukayo Saka made the run to give an ex uh, uh, exit. Oh my God! What am I saying? Bukayo Saka made the run to assist Lacazette. Then Burn was supposed to uh defend Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka turned him. Make the run. No chance for Dan Burn to catch up with him. Excellent. Saka. Uh, some sort of pull behind cross. Uh, but it was on the ground. Saka said. Just get one touch. Second touch. Shoot. Bottom right corner. Perfect. Just some seconds after coming on. Brilliant. 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 Saka said nowadays. I have to say he's getting unstoppable. Yeah. Um, I have nothing else to say uh, apart from the goal. It was actually a pretty average game. Not much chances. El Nani was better. Yeah, and then the Aubameyang one, you know, the one where I think it was Martinelli who gets it in. And then Aubameyang just slides towards the ball. Okay, you see, if it was Takumi Minamino from Liverpool, if it was Erling Haaland, okay, maybe not even Haaland. At this point, I just feel like Haaland is way better than Aubameyang. Eric, Eric Chopo Moting, the new signing from, for Bayern. Yeah, Eric Chopo Moting, the new signing from Bayern, from, or Bayern from PSG. Yeah. Chopper moting, if he slides for the ball, fine. I understand. But Aubameyang, a player of Aubameyang's class, he shouldn't be sliding. He says, saw the ball coming in. If it was high, make a header. We know how good he is in the air. If it was low, volley, or get a touch and then shoot. You don't slide. When you slide, you don't have that much power. And the keeper. Why would you slide towards the keeper? The keeper can just block it like that. Aubameyang's form is going down. Against Man City, the video that I made, the first ever video of Arsenal discussions, I talked about Ateta going out. Now, I realized it isn't Ateta's problem. She can stay. It's Aubameyang. It's the same phrase that I said. And there's another English, the English Arsenal fan who said the same thing. For Aubameyang, there's the door, Tara, get out. 
Aubameyang out. I will have terminated his contract. Aubameyang is just not good anymore. Like, what is Aubameyang doing nowadays? I'm just mad. Although he won. We could have won 3 nil, 4 nil. And where did those other 2 or 3 chances came from? Aubameyang. Usually, if it was Aubameyang, he would have scored. Today, he missed one after another chance. Okay, now we're on to some happy stuff. The Lacazette girl. Just about 20 30 seconds after coming on Lacazette for Martinelli. About Martinelli, um. Yeah, Martinelli hasn't been having the best of games. Um, but it's okay. Now hold on, my camera's falling. Yeah, he hasn't been having the best of games, but pretty good. Like I said, I already talked about that goal. Inch perfect. Inch perfect. Just that one inch away from perfect. You know what would be perfect for me? He just volley it. That's the thing about Saka. I can see... That, that, that's why I would say Saka needs to improve on his attacking. Despite he assisted Akazet. Because I could see that Saka was trying to cross it in. He was trying to cross it in instead of like just passing back. So if you actually cross Akazet, just volleyed it. I won't say it's inch perfect. I would say that it's perfect. It's perfect for me. Alright. And then Um there isn't anything else to say. It's a bias one for Bukayo Saka. Yeah, Saka was a bit hobbling during the game. And Sabayos I guess a Teta was just trying to like Make the team start going defense, like let them start going defense to defend because it was already at the 80th minute. If you can see a late girl, this video won't just be me getting mad at about me. This video will be me getting mad about the whole team. And then, Midland knows for Smith Bro, I guess it's because it's the defense. But if it was me, I wouldn't bring Smith Row on. I, I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't bring Smith Row off. I would still bring Midland Nows off. Uh, I would still bring Midland Nows on. But instead, for Shaka. And then switch Shaka and our nanny around. That's what I would do. And yeah, after the game, that's about all for the game. Pretty, pretty good. And now I'm just gonna talk about some of the comments that the Arsenal fans have been saying about the game. This one. This one. Yeah, this one I agree a lot. This comment I agree. From Francis Asara, at last three points, clean sheet, no red card. Slowly, slowly, the muddy pool becomes a river. Agreed. I agree with that. But, but, I don't agree with that to what about me. Eh? Um, okay, so now I'm just going to take a look at the Premier League table and see what position we are in. Oh, hold on, yeah, just cope with me. But give me a minute, I'm going to off my camera for a while. Yeah, sorry about that, I just had to settle some stuff. And back to the EPL table. We are currently laying in 13th place. I'm pretty happy with that. 
and if you see the the points gap between now I'm just aiming for 10 plays between West Ham which is 10 plays it's just three points so that means I need to track West Ham's new uh, next game hold up yeah so West Ham's new next game will be against Everton and I'm sure Everton will be able to beat West Ham. So if West Ham loses, if West Ham loses and we win, West Ham loses and we win West Brom, which I think we can, we have a chance of going either 11 or 10th place, which is good. This is what we're hoping. We've been stuck at 15 for too long. Too long! And so, we need to go back up to the 10th place first, 8th place, slowly into the top 6. I believe in Arsenal. We can do it. And yeah, so today's video will just end here. I'll see you next time for the next video, which I think will be Arsenal discussions too. It will be about the West Brom game, so I'll see you next time. Oh wait, yeah, one one moment. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and don't forget to hit the like button. See ya.